Hi, Sam. Thanks for your Bradley Manning focus today. Allow me to quote something I wrote on uh, January 2002. I wrote that in September of 01, Colin Powell declared terrorism to be the new benchmark of American foreign policy to set the stage for terrorism to finally serve as a replacement for the erstwhile bugaboo of communism, a replacement for which the arms industry and defense department has been seeking in vain for a decade. Nine years later, a man named Bradley Manning tried to put a mirror up for us to see what our nation had become under this new benchmark. Then Manning's personal story after his leak became just one more example of what the terrorism benchmark has turned this nation into, a militaristic empire that was quickly corroding its own rule of law and founding ideals. I mean, I think... I, I, I think in time, Bradley Manning will be seen to have been, uh, in many respects, the harbinger of the first alarm bell disseminated in such a wide fashion. You know, I think you, you must see Edward Snowden's leaks in the context of Bradley Manning. You must see the um, the increased awareness of the stories of guys like Binny and Drake and Tice in the context of Bradley Manning. Um, I uh, personally, I feel that the judge today should just sentence him to time served. Uh, people forget that Daniel Ellsberg, the case was not brought to its fruition. He was not found innocent, or I should say not guilty on the charges. The case was thrown out because of government malfeasance. And there seems to me to be uh, incredible evidence of government malfeasance in the, the handling of Bradley Manning. And that in and of itself should be enough for the judge today to say, time served, you're free. But I think uh, Chase Matter is, is correct when he says that this is going to have to be... Um, to the extent that Bradley Manning has any chance of, of freedom in the near or mid or maybe ever term, um, it's going to have to be a function of political pressure. Enitude 08. What are the chances of Obama issuing a pardon for Bradley Manning at the end of his term in 016? Whoops, January 07. Uh, I, I would be... I would be shocked. I, I, I would put it somewhere around 5%. That's even... That may be high. That's high. 5%? Three? I'm like, I'm how about point oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Did you see Regarding Henry, that movie? With, um, with, uh, with Harrison Ford, where he was a doctor and he got into a car accident and had a brain, brain problem, and then he became a nicer guy, I think it was, or something like that. So you're saying this all – your 5% lays on the fact that Obama needs some sort of brain-altering 